So, ladies and gentlemen, um, the first thing that we're going to do in this example is we haven't talked anything about radicals at all, anything. So, again, if you guys remember, we spent a topic on taking radicals and rewriting them as rational powers. So, the first thing that I'll do is rewrite log base 2 times 4x raised to the 1 half. Okay? Huh? It's just rewriting a radical as a rational power. And this is just something that uh, Adrian, we've, we went over when we were talking about simplifying and solving radical expressions. Now, the problem is, I can't separate this. I can't separate the 4 times the x into two separate logarithms because they're both raised to the 1 half. So in previous examples where we wanted to, where I'd use the um, power rule and then use the, or I'm sorry, use the product rule and then use the power rule, in this example, what I'm going to want to do is rewrite my 1 half. I'm going to re put my power rule down um, in front. So I'm going to say 1 half times log base 2, thank you, of 4x. Now you guys can see I'm taking the logarithm and I am uh, multiplying the 4 and the x. So to separate those, I'd separate them by addition. But remember, um, you've got to be very careful here because when you separate these, when you separate these, ladies and gentlemen, you can now see that I only have the 1 half is being multiplied by this, right? Where 1 half is supposed to be multiplied by the whole thing. So I have to make sure that I use my grouping brackets or parentheses or whatever else. Now, Why don't you, just put the one half on the you could also distribute the 1 half on both. Absolutely. You could do that as well. That'd be you know, applying distributive property. But there's one more thing that comes up to this. There's one more thing that comes up here. Is, um, remember, guys, what logarithms represent that say. You can say. You can look here and say, I have a base and a power. Remember what a logarithm says is 2 raised to what power gives you 4? 2. So that's 1 half times 2 plus log base 2 of x. And if you follow uh, Lee's process there, if you distribute the 1 half, your final answer would be 1 plus 1 half log base 2 of x. Yeah. 